Now, we know her, of course, as Downton Abbey's resident housekeeper, Mrs Hughes. Today, actress Phyllis Logan is encouraging all of us to join our pals for a cup of tea in support of a new campaign to help dementia nurses. Phyllis, it's so good to see you. How are you? You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you very much. I mean, all dressed up, nowhere to go. Um... <laughs> I know, I know, I hear you. This is such a great idea and I know that you're such a huge supporter of dementia charities and um, we can now, we can have cups of tea with our friend but we can also do it virtually, can't we? Yes, we can do any of it or all of it. I mean, it's running from now until the 8th but in actual fact, you can do it all the way through May, why not? Um, yes, get a cup of tea, have a cake and then move on to... Pims, if you like, who cares? Sounds I mean, good. but it's it's all going to help towards Dementia UK. It's a wonderful thing. And also, um, I don't know that many people are aware of the fantastic work that the Admiral nurses do. Um, I, mean, I mean, they are incredible, aren't they? Well, yes, when I first got together with them, um, I didn't know anything about the Admiral nurses. And there was a, f a few then, but now there's about 300 and obviously they're hoping to get more and more as the years go by because we've got eight over 800,000 people who have registered uh, with dementia in the UK, rising all the time. So the more Admiral nurses we get, the better because they're, they're a godsend and a lifeline to people either with dementia or carers and loved ones um, helping to look after them. So they really are invaluable. They're, they're amazing. They're like, they're like superheroes, aren't they? They just sort of parachute in and take away yeah. an awful lot of the strain and just sometimes someone to, to talk to and get information mm -hmm. from and just make it that little bit easier because you've, well, that's right. yeah, and you've experienced it. You've experienced it with your mum and with your mum-in-law and it's, it's blinking hard, isn't it? Oh, there's my mummy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and there's Margaret and Bob, yeah, with Kevin looking rather dapper. <laughs> well, he does. He always looks dapper. You know my feelings on your husband. He always oh, looks I'm good. Sorry. I'm sorry he's not here today. I'm sorry he's not here today. He's he, Otherwise, he'd be photobombing us again. But... <laughs> No, it's, it, is, it is something that you've experienced and obviously you need all yes. the help you can get when you're going through that. I mean, they offer practical support, but, but also emotional support, which yeah. I think is is almost more important. I mean, they can join up the dots with all the relative organisations to try and help in a practical sense. But um, I, w I wish we had a traffic light sign for when you can actually get a hug from somebody you barely know yeah, yeah. um I wouldn't know. that be just great it when are we going to be able to just involuntary hug if you see somebody nice in the street just go up and <laughs> just talk, touch them and, soon i know, hope cheat. soon because we've missed that we really have i'll tell you what though we've got lots to look forward to and one of the things a very lovely christmas present we're hoping just before christmas we will get the downton movie Follow up. How is it going? Are you in the? I know you can't tell me anything, and to be honest, I don't want to know. I want it to be a big surprise. But you are you filming it right now? Is it happening yes. as we speak? I can tell you that. Well, no, not today for me, obviously. I mean, but they are in another part of the forest doing whatever they're doing. So yes, we have started. Oh. It's all going terribly well. We're all thrilled to be doing it again. So it's the usual band, of course. Oh, there we are, finishing <laughs> off the last one. Oh, um, it's the usual lot of people. Plus, we've got some wonderful newbies, which I'm allowed to tell you. We have that wonderful French actress, Natalie Bay, who people might know from mm. uh, Call My Agent. Oh, yes. We have Dominic West. We have Hugh Dancing. We have the lovely Laura Haddock coming to join us this time round. Excellent. So, oh, it's going to be great. But look, what's it like filming? Because... I, you know, I, I just wonder what it's like filming under these conditions because you have to, obviously, there's a lot in place that you've got to work around. Yeah, well, masks, for example. We, yes. we are being COVID tested about three times a week. I've already had my second jab. Excellent. Hurrah. Congratulations. How, how <laughs> You must be number one at least. I have, and I'm going to get my second one the end of this month, and I can't wait. I'm counting the days. It's We're so lucky, yeah. aren't we? We're so lucky. Yeah. But yes, and as far as that goes, we're being COVID tested. Uh, lots of us have had a jab already and I've had me too. Uh, we have to wear these 
peculiar masks, which the girls, it, it's like a screen, a perspex screen that goes up, but it, it's attached to a collar that goes round your neck, and we call it the actor's cone of shame because we have to adopt this thing. <laughs> And so it's really weird walking about like that all that the time. That was really odd. Yeah, but you can't mm -hmm. because you, because the makeup, you know, the makeup is, and you have to have continuity. Right. And the hairstyles and and all of that have to be it have to be perfect. You can't put the mask on and hook that over a wig, right. you know. So that's hopeless. Mm -hmm. So that's why we've got these. The men have a different affair. They have it. It's like glasses, which oh. comes down the way in a right. screen like that. Ah. But us girls have to wear the cone of shame. The cone of shame. Like, you know, like when your wee dog has an operation and they're not allowed to yes. lick themselves. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We're not allowed to lick them. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to see this though. I think I think we'll we'll all be needing we'll all be needing things like that. We we really will. And is life getting for for you and for for actors generally? I mean, life is getting a little bit back to normal. There's there's jobs coming up. There's things you can look forward to. It would seem to be the case. I mean, I, we all at the start thought, how are we only how are we going to get round this epidemic in a work sense? But you know. We've managed. People are very inventive, what with masks and everything. But um, and there's Kevin. He's away working, and um, and I've been doing other things as well as as Downton. So I must say, it's it's looking more hopeful. That I mean, you talked earlier about things getting back to normal. Whether it will be ever back to mm, fully normal, sure. I don't know. Yeah. But it's certainly manageable, and we can certainly work and do things and hopefully like you were saying as well go and see concerts and plays and you know yeah, get out and about know. and in the meantime have cups of tea have cups of tea and, and help lots of cups of tea. and help dementia help dementia charities because they do such a, an, an amazing job as do you as an ambassador oh. i'll be waiting outside your house with, um, and when we're allowed to give people hugs i shall be in to squeeze your husband okay <laughs> that's a warning <laughs> <laughs> it's so lovely to see you. It's always a joy and we can't wait for the Downton movie. It's going to be great. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.